China once again in the headline news today for cracking down on Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining. China's not happy. These big governments around the world don't want to see the small people make millions and millions of dollars with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Well, obviously, there's also a risk you could lose millions of dollars. But in general, these big corporations, basically these big governments around the world like the USA, like China and many others don't want to see the little man ever get out of the hole. Today, we're talking about what's going on with China and Bitcoin right here in this video. So make sure you stay tuned. What's going on, guys? Patrick here. And today we're talking about Bitcoin, China and what is going on now. If you remember back in 2017, the same thing happened. Right. News came out about China cracking down on Bitcoin, how they were going to ban Bitcoin and blah, 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 blah. China just wants to talk, talk, talk. Now, the news today is that obviously Bitcoin has resumed its sell off. It dropped from forty one thousand dollars down there to thirty nine thousand dollars. You can see behind me right there dropping like a rock when this news came out. So the news out of China is obviously they have this massive displeasure with the idea of anonymous transactions provided by Bitcoin and other crypto tokens. News earlier this week out of China saying that they were not allowing financial institutions to accept Bitcoin for payment. And the country recently today said they're going to be working on cracking down on Bitcoin mining and Bitcoin trading. And also this week, there was news about Elon and Bitcoin mining in China being very, very bad for the environment since a lot of those mining facilities are powered by coal burning power plants. So that was the news one, two, like three, four, five punches to Bitcoin again, selling off today from that $41,000 area. And I'm going to, I'm going to talk about why I don't really think this really matters at all, because at the end of the day, if China does ban Bitcoin, if the USA does ban Bitcoin, is that really going to stop the movement? People are always going to be able to buy and sell Bitcoin online. Obviously, it's going to make it more difficult. It's going to be harder. But we've seen in the past with drugs, the war, the war on drugs. Well, the war on drugs is still happening for how many years now? The USA has been fighting drugs and drug lords and drug dealers and drug selling and illegal drugs in the USA. And well, that war just won't end. Let's take a look at the chart here on Bitcoin now. You can see Bitcoin this morning dropping from $41,000 down there to $37,200. Recently, a low down there at $29,000 and getting stuck in those EMAs. Now, I talked about just the other day how this could be the beginning of a bearish type of market in Bitcoin cryptocurrency with this bad news, with the sell-off here, but... Let me tell you one thing, my friends, there is never a better time to buy Bitcoin for the long term run than when it's crashing down. We've seen this happen how many times now? Three, four, five times throughout the Bitcoin bull market cycle thing that we're going through where Bitcoin goes straight to the moon and then it crashes back down and then it goes back to the moon. And each time it goes to the moon, it makes another push to another type of moon. You know, at first we went to the moon that's just off of Earth, and then we went to the moon that's off of another planet, and then we went to Pluto recently. We went to Pluto recently when Bitcoin went from $3,000 up there to $65,000. And like I said, and this whole idea of regulation, trying to raise taxes on crypto, trying to ban crypto mining, these governments around the world obviously want to have power over the people, and guess what? Bitcoin cryptocurrency takes power away from the government and gives power back to the people. So a lot of these governments are going to be scared of the cryptocurrency movement. The idea that cryptocurrency could set people free from the typical central banks that we use today that these governments that these people use like the USA with the central bank just printing and printing more and more money inflation going rampant while the government says that inflation doesn't matter. Well, here we are, Bitcoin at a very pivotal point. Like I said, 
We've seen in the past where Bitcoin from the highs has dropped 80% from the highs down to the low before starting the next bull move. Is that to say that Bitcoin is going to drop down to $12,000 now? There's a possibility, but there is news. Check this out. There is some more news coming out. There was also news today that cryptocurrency hedge funds buying the dip this week. Like many pros, the former Morgan Stanley trader says Bitcoin's volatility actually shows why hedge funds are in on the digital currency game to ride boom and bust cycles with diversified bets so clients don't get killed at times like this. Something is working. He says that his $80 million crypto focus fund MVPQ capital is up 14% in May and has more than tripled in value this year. In contrast, Bitcoin has plunged almost 30% this month, cutting the advance for 2021 to 42%. They have kept dry powder, he said in an interview from London, but he took advantage of Wednesday's price collapse and bought Bitcoin when it was trading around $35,000. He said at $35,000, they feel it is a reasonable level at which to be adding. It's obviously not regulated and is very young asset, but I don't think that's going to be revisiting 2018 in terms of the crash or the price in 2018 which yay you know everyone's got their own feelings here every time that we see a massive liquidation is a chance to buy i wouldn't be surprised if bitcoin and ethereum retrace the entire drop in a week they said that bitcoin is not dying but they expect productive blockchain assets such as ethereum or solana to change to challenge bitcoin's dominance in the coming months so the hedge funds are liking the dip. You know, they're seeing the opportunity. Like I said earlier, this is an opportunity to be buying the dip, buying something on discount. You're not paying full price. You know, you're not buying Bitcoin at $65,000, $64,000. You're buying it for almost a 50% discount. People go out on Black Friday and stay in the lines all day waiting for a discount. Well, here we are, Bitcoin at that key level, that $30,000 level. I think long term, you can't go wrong buying at this point. Now, obviously, I'm not a financial advisor. I can't give you advice on when to buy. But personally, the way I look at it is if I can buy 50% drop and then it goes up to the highs, if it goes from $30,000 back to the highs above $60,000, that's a 100% profit on my dip buy off of that 50% pullback. So buying the pullbacks can be much more lucrative than trying to buy at the top. I'll tell you that right now. I've learned one thing in the last four years of trading Bitcoin. It's to buy the dips, to sell the rips, or just to buy and hold forever if you really want to do that as well. So that's the news. China is working hard on taking down Bitcoin. The USA is coming for Bitcoin. Elon Musk is coming for Bitcoin. They're all coming for it. But who will win in the end? We will find out before, well, we'll find out in like 20 years if Bitcoin actually goes to a million dollars or not, which if it does go to a million dollars, there's probably going to be a lot, a lot more issues in the world than just Bitcoin at that point. So there it is. Bitcoin, China, the news, we're breaking it right here live on, well, not it's, it's on YouTube, but if you guys haven't already hit that like button, subscribe button, all the buttons down below, I will talk to you guys later on.